Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. Can this affordable facial oil really deliver you twice the anti-aging benefit of traditional over-the-counter retinoids? Well, if TikTok's to be believed, it definitely can. Lots of people are singing the praises of the use of rosehip seed oil in the place of your traditional retinoids to get maximum anti-aging benefit with minimum risk of irritation. But is there any truth in this, or is it all just a total TikTok myth? That's what I want to explore in today's video. We're going to look at the pros and cons of rosehip seed oil, whether it actually deserves a place in your anti-aging skincare routine and whether ultimately you could ditch the retinol altogether. Sit back, relax and let's start maximizing anti-aging. Now before we get into this video just that quick reminder to do all that YouTube stuff if you haven't already. If you could reach down and give this video a big thumbs up and a like. I personally don't measure my own success in life based on the number of likes I get but unfortunately YouTube still does and until that changes we kind of have to play the YouTube algorithm game so by giving the video a like honestly it's the very best way of supporting me as a content creator and for that I'm always so, so grateful. I've got quite a lot to get through in today's video, so should we just cut that waffle and delve straight on in? Now, first off, let's issue a big old spoiler, and that's to say, despite what people say on TikTok, no, a good rosehip seed oil cannot replace your established retinoid in your anti-aging skincare routine and still give you the exact same proven benefits. However, let's not just dismiss it outright, because I do think rosehip seed oil does have a key role to play in anti-aging, and there are some circumstances where maybe switching out your retinoid for it or using it to complement your retinoid could actually give you some enhanced results. And that's really the purpose of today's video. So let's kick things off. Retinoids, sounds super scientific, but what they are are vitamin A derivatives. They've been studied for years, and these studies have shown that vitamin A derivatives, if used consistently in your skincare routine, over time will increase cellular turnover. That means it can return some vibrancy and luminosity to the skin. It prevents you from clinging onto those dead skin cells way too long. That can also help fade hyperpigmentation, and they've got some proven benefits when it comes to fighting acne and suppressing any breakouts. I think the main reason people reach for retinoids is their anti-aging benefits, the boosting of collagen and elastin production. As we age, the amount of collagen produced by the skin diminishes like that, which is why we lose the firmness and elasticity in our skin, and we notice the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Retinoids can actually reverse that trend, boost the levels of collagen in the skin to bring back some firmness and minimize the appearance of crow's feet, laughter lines, and all the things that, you know, whilst we should never be ashamed of, we like to minimize to give our skin that maximum confidence. With all of those benefits, I genuinely believe retinoids are a true non-negotiable in an effective anti-aging skincare routine. But unfortunately, whilst they deliver major benefits for the skin, they do also come with major side effects. I'd say that retinoids are probably some of the most irritating ingredients you'll find in over-the-counter skincare. The redness, the peeling, the irritation, what we sometimes unkindly call the retinoid uglies. This is that transition period when you first start reaching for a retinoid, anywhere between four weeks and like six months, your skin's are just to it and you will notice an increase in sensitivity, redness and irritation. This means a lot of people either don't persevere or are just put off with those scare stories entirely and never actually reach for a retinoid. So it's understandable that people are looking for more gentle alternatives and are desperate to sing the praises of these options when they find them. And this I think is where the hype of rosehip seed oil comes in. So let's take a closer look at this ingredient. Rosehip seed oil is extracted from the seeds of certain rose plants. It's not from the petals, which I think is a common misconception. Often rose water and so other oils can come from the petal. Rosehip seed oil, which is what we're talking about now, comes from the seeds of the plant. Now, rosehip seed oil has been used for millennia to treat a variety of skin issues, to nourish and to hydrate. But a lot of people will dismiss it outright, say, yeah, there's no scientific studies there, don't bother with it, stick to your retinoids. In truth, there are actually some really good and robust scientific studies that show the benefits of rosehip seed oil in the skin. They've tended to focus more on the hydration levels and for wound healing, rather than for the anti-aging collagen boosting benefit. But there are also some studies out there that do just show consistent use of rosehip seed oil can, at the margins increase the levels of collagen and elastin in the skin. We also need to remember that when we talk anti-aging or well aging it's not just restricted to boosting the levels of collagen and elastin, minimizing fine lines and wrinkles. Hydration also has a really key part to play. The more hydrated our skin is, the more youthful it'll appear. It'll be that plump, that dewy look. If we notice the skin is dehydrated, you'll often see that our fine lines and wrinkles are more exacerbated. The skin also looks a little bit more dull. Hydration has a key role to play in anti-aging. 
anti-aging skincare and that's where rosehip seed oil can really pay great dividends. Because it's a really rich oil it actually helps to promote cell wall health which means that our skin is better prepared to minimize the transepidermal water loss that's the release of any hydration to the atmosphere around us. It also can provide a really nice occlusive layer it's not the same as like Vaseline but it will give a light level of occlusivity which again can trap in all of that moisture meaning it's retained in our skin rather than lost to the world around us. Never neglect hydration as a core component of your anti-aging skincare routine. I'd say it's as important as collagen production and I think this is where you definitely can get some benefits from rosehip seed oil. So rosehip seed oil. Now there have been some studies to show at the margins it can boost collagen and elastin production but nowhere has any study that I've ever found compared it to retinoids in the way that it works like that. However I think where a lot of this comparison comes particularly like on TikTok and some of the online forums is because rosehip seed oil does contain vitamin A. So retinols are vitamin A derivatives so I think people put the link together and think well one contains vitamin A, one is a derivative of vitamin A so therefore must be very similar thing and you can use them interchangeably in anti-aging skincare routine. You absolutely can't because whilst rosehip seed oil does contain some vitamin A it's going to be in a much lower concentration than what you'll get with a good cost strength retinoid. That way the two just you can't just equate the two together in that way and expect to get the exact same outcomes. However the amount of vitamin A in your rosehip seed oil could be a great complement to an existing anti-aging skincare routine. So if you're already using a facial oil at the end of your routine and you want just that little extra anti-aging in your life you could absolutely switch that for a rosehip seed oil and it might just help at the margins to boost the results that you're seeing. You also need to remember that retinoids aren't all the same. Different versions have different molecular structures and need to go through different molecular pathways and conversions to get to the retinoic acid which our skin uses to give all that amazing anti-aging benefit. So just saying that vitamin A, they're all created equal, slap it on the skin and you'll get the same outcomes, isn't really true. For example, retinal as a derivative works a lot quicker than retinol because it has to go through fewer conversions to get to where it needs to be. Same goes for vitamin A, it's totally different in terms of its structure and the way it'll work on the skin as a retinol for example. And that's why I think it's not fair to just say one contains one thing, the other contains the other, it's going to work exactly the same way in your skincare routine. It's not. Now, now, I got some great results from rosehip seed oil and honestly this is my go-to facial oil of choice and let me explain why. First of all I already use a retinoid in my skincare routine so I like to think I'm just getting a little extra anti-aging benefit from my rosehip seed oil and what's not to love about that. I love the level of hydration that my skin retains as a result of using rosehip seed oil and it is one of the best oils if you've got oily or acne prone skin. A lot of people think putting oil on top of oily skin is like a recipe for disaster. Honestly it's not. Different oils work in different ways. They have different compositions and rosehip seed oil is actually wonderful at going into the pore and kind of making the sebum that our skin naturally produces less sticky. Often the problem with people that suffer with acne is the sebum gets lodged in the pores, it sticks there and that's where it causes the problem. It's not the oil itself, it's the fact that it gets lodged in your pores which creates the congestion and the breakouts. Rosehip seed oil can really just help that to be removed from the pore so you still get the great benefits of hydration minimizing the risk of breakouts. This is why it's my absolute go-to. We also need to remember not everybody can tolerate or reach for a retinoid. They're not recommending doing pregnancy or breastfeeding. Some people that have super sensitive skin just can never apply a topical retinoid and get anything other than redness, the peeling and the burning. That's where some alternatives such as rosehip seed oil, bakuchol really can benefit in your skincare routine. If retinoids just aren't for you, some of the alternatives mean you don't have to totally miss out on the great anti-aging benefits. You might not get exactly the same outcomes but you can definitely get that boost of anti-aging in your life and I've seen some great results with both. I think the key to all of this is setting your expectations right. Don't believe all the TikTokers out there that will say abandon your retinoid, get a rosehip seed oil in your routine and you'll get the exact same results. You won't. However for some people rosehip seed oil could just be the better alternative particularly if you can't tolerate retinoids. For a lot of people you could use it alongside your existing retinoid just to dial up the benefits that you're going to see and get a nice boost to hydration too. We need to remember when we talk anti-aging skincare it's not all about collagen production. Hydration has a real key part to play too and that's where I think rosehip seed oil comes into its own. It's also wonderful if you're super oily and acne prone because it can minimize those breakouts and give you all the benefits that I've just mentioned. So no, you can't abandon your retinoid, use a rosehip seed oil and get the exact same results but that doesn't mean that we should neglect it totally. For me a couple of times a week I will apply a little rosehip seed oil after my moisturizer in my skincare routine to 
just dial up the levels of hydration and know that I'm getting just a little extra burst of anti-aging alongside my retinoids. What are your thoughts, feelings and opinions guys? Do you use rosehip seed oil? Do you have some other facial oils that you prefer? The one that I'm waving about here is the one by The Ordinary. I think if you're going to look for a rosehip seed oil, make sure it's cold pressed, organic if possible, and that'll give you the maximum benefits from the product that you reach for. The Ordinary does all of that at a really affordable price point. There are others on the market. I'll link some of my favourites in the description box below, as I will this product. So yeah, I think rosehip seed oil has a part to play in your anti-aging skincare routine, but not at the expense of your retinoid. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.